Hi friends, welcome back. Grab a coffee or a tea and come watch this time lapse with me of my armoire project. I'll share the do's and don'ts and things I learned along the way. So this is obviously the before. I started this piece before I started doing TikTok, so I don't have very good clips of the before, but my husband and I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace. And I had originally intended to paint the body uh, a green color similar to this one and stain the doors and the drawer fronts. However, while sanding, we discovered that the wood was not an amazing quality. This is a factory made piece. It's not an antique. It's from the late 90s, early 2000s. So it's not as good of a quality. So I ended up scratching that plan and just decided to paint the whole thing. I got a Valspar enamel paint from Lowe's, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I don't love Valspar. This is a holdover from that time before I fully made up my mind about Valspar, uh, and I had this paint left over, so I wanted to get it used up. As you can see, while we did sand down the main body and the drawer fronts, we did not prime, and I wish we had. You'll also see all this wood filler in the big shelf in the center there. There were a few more gouges and cuts than we had originally saw or seen when we bought the piece. So I filled that in to hopefully mitigate some of that damage and eventually I will sand down that wood filler and paint that along with the doors to the front of the piece which I originally had forgotten about. They were tucked away and I did not get to them on this day. I was giving everything its first coat. While I did sand down and scrape down the wood filler, and you can see how damaged that shelf is there, I didn't sand the shelf and get the gloss off, the shiny part off, and that was a mistake. I didn't sand the doors at all because I trusted the Valspar paint, and it said no sanding or priming necessary, and you'll see in a bit that was a mistake as well. Here on the drawer fronts, they were a little rough, so I am lightly sanding in between the first and second coat to helpfully improve the look and feel of the overall piece. And yes, I am watching Critical Role again. You got my tablet set up there for entertainment purposes. Here is the second coat on the doors. I'm still unsure about this, but I am hoping that it will all work out. And I don't plan on painting the back of the doors because I am leaving the interior of the piece black. So I was careful not to hit the other side. We also have a really fun sunset lighting effect here until I could no longer see and had to shut the garage door unfortunately. And here we'll see how much of a hurry I'm in to get this done because I don't have a paint tray so I'm painting the paint onto the roller. And this is where my mistakes begin. I did make a TikTok about this. If you notice that scratch, that was after several days of letting it cure and it just scratched off with my nail. So I knew this would not work and I had to strip down the doors and that's after just about 10 minutes. I love this citrus stuff. So here on this door where I'm pointing out in the video is the only part of the door we actually sanded down. And you can see how much better the paint is sticking to that section where it just came cleanly off everywhere else. And as I mentioned before, I did not sand that middle shelf. I only sanded down the wood filler, which was not enough. So here I am stripping it again, and I'll really give it a good scuffing later on. And here is our second first coat of paint on the doors. And my husband came out to tell me I had paint all over my face. He's so kind. 
and he decided to jump in and help me because he knew I was just done. I wanted to get this piece done. It wasn't as good of a quality of build as I had hoped it would be when we bought it, and I was just disappointed by the finish all around, but I think in the end it turned out okay. It just made me re really realize how important preparation is for working with paint and redoing pieces, so preparation is key for sure. And this is our third coat on the drawers and the main body of the piece because I did not prime and it wasn't great. And so we had to sand off some drips and fill in some thin spots. Here's some touch up and the second coat on the drawers. And again, no paint pans just because I didn't want to run to Lowe's to get some more. <laughs> Should have. This is a wow factor that I always wanted in this piece. My husband helped me lay it down on its back and I'm cleaning it in. I got some contact paper and I love the pattern and I tried really hard to make sure it was in the middle. I'm measuring here. I just thought that hole down there was not cut to center because this is a cheaper piece and that's totally possible. Wiping it down. I've never used contact paper before, so this was a, a first try. I think it laid pretty well, but definitely uh, not centered. Spoiler alert. I see here I'm making it work, and I'm going to measure again, try and making sure that it is centered, and you'll see. But what do you guys think of that pattern? I really like the chevron pattern, especially for this piece, it just seemed to fit. And it smooths out super well. Here I am figuring out it is not centered, but just going with it. And this piece, you'll see, I cut too short there. But that's okay, I fixed it. I put another piece down later, I tear that one out and put another one down. And, spoiler alert, it was still too short. And I got this piece. I got this one long enough, but I messed up the corner when I was cutting it. So I patched that later on. Alright, watch this. I know I'm 4'11", but I got things to do. Woo! It's actually not that heavy with all the drawers out. Do you guys see what I'm doing wrong here? Uh, we had a good laugh about this. Here I am. Wait, what the? Husband gets home, he helps me hang the door, not upside down and backwards. Helps me finish wiping out the rest of the drawers to finish it off. I worked on this piece over several weeks and I'm glad it's done. We aren't sure if we're gonna sell it or put it in a, a rental property. We're hoping to buy an Airbnb and see if that works for us. We've never done anything like that before. So we're thinking of holding on to it for that. But there's the background. Even though it's not perfectly centered, I still think it looks really cool with the piece. And overall, it turned out better than I thought it would. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this time lapse. I find them really relaxing and I hope you do too. And I'll see you next time.